And making blood films is an integral part of hematology. Um, by analyzing blood films, we can actually look at patients with, via microscope. And this helps us to distinguish whether the patient has got an abnormality. For example, leukemia, malaria, sickle cell disease. Um, is there any other thing, abnormality within the blood that we can physically see with our eyes? Analyzing some providers with data, but this is actually looking at physical cells. Once the blood films uh, have been made, as you saw earlier, uh, they need to be stained so we can actually look at them um, down a microscope using uh, colors. What we're using is simple stains. Um, which uses acids and alkaline. So hematoxylin and eosin are the basic principles of any staining components. So will you not do it again to stain for blood stain? We don't, uh, well this is a modified bright stain which is a part of a uh, okay. This is a stain that we use, it's called a modified bright stain. Right? Uh, the Gimza stain we normally use for bone marrows, okay? but this is a modified which is a part of Gimza anyway. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, what will happen is you'll get a, a reddish pinkish color for your red cells and a bluey color for your nucleuses. And we will look at some blood films and we'll, we'll have a look at that later on. Again, it's a manual technique, um, so uh, there's a lot of experience required to make blood films. There's the dangers that are involved when you're actually spreading the blood films. Okay. We, we do have an automated analyzer that makes blood films, unfortunately at the moment it's not working. Mm -hmm. Okay, so unfortunately we can't show you that. Uh, but all films are, s are fixed in methanol, okay, and then stained on our flat bed stainer. Okay, we've also got two other stains which is called a diff quick, which is a quick staining to help distinguish something called malaria or malaria parasites. Okay, and by uh, re legal requirement, we need to do two different techniques to look at malaria. Um, some places use thick and thin films, we don't do thick and thin films, we use two different stains. So one will be your modified right stain, one which will be your, uh, your quick diff staining technique. Your quick diff? Quick diff. Diff. Diff as a differential. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how many blood films might be made in one day? Um, you're looking at approximately, I would say, 200 to 300 films. That's a lot of manpower to make them and even more manpower to look at blood films. And as a biomedical scientist in hematology, morphology is the, what you call, integral part of, um, because you will be authorizing reports. And once you authorize a report, morphology is the last of all the tests which we perform. And if you make a mistake there, an error there, which cause consequences. So it's very, very important that morphology, when you're actually authorizing blood films, uh, that you have the experience to do it, it takes about, I would say, a minimum of two years post-registration mm -hmm. experience to be a morphologist that you can work by yourself. We also get constantly, um, uh, 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 our competency is checked, uh, where we have internal uh, qualities of blood firms, which we need to identify. We have external quality schemes, which we need to identify as well. And if we have any problems with them, they will get highlighted and you will have to go back for retraining, which doesn't happen that often mm -hmm. because of the experience that we gain. The Leicester is such a vast uh, ethical diversity within the population of Leicester and we are so lucky that we end up seeing huge amount of blood films. For example, malaria, not a lot of uh, areas we do see malaria. Uh, thalassemias, again, you can look at thalassemias down in blood film. Leukemias, unfortunately, not very good for the patients, but we see so many leukemias, childhood leukemias, neonatal blood films, renal patients, and, and the story just goes on and on and on. Um, and um, one of the, the most interesting parts of hematology is a morphology because it puts all your teachings, your experience into uh, um, a kind of uh, like a, a seal. You know, you're losing battery power. Um, so the morphology is, I would say, the most difficult to grasp, but it's the most important and most challenging part of hematology. It's also the most rewarding. Because when you see something which wasn't supposed to be there, it's absolutely fascinating. Um, and we've also seen um, uh, from Africa, we have, may have patients with lower, lower or microfilari, which are worms. Um, 
something rare but when you see something like that that is an achievement and I think in my 15 years here I've only seen one positive uh, microfilera worm mm -hmm. and that was just by chance, mm -hmm. sheer chance. Usually we see them using Niquas uh, external um, quality schemes which we have. Um, it's morphology is only for qualified staff. Right? So uh, uh, trainees will get hands-on looking down a microscope but they will not be able to authorize. Okay.